Hey and welcome to the Daily Arsenal News Show. Let's begin with our daily news. Arsenal could now sell Thomas Party for just £15.5 million. Arsenal are ready to sell Thomas Party this summer, and Edu Gaspar is reportedly open to letting him go to Juventus for a very small fee. The Ghanaian joined the Gunners in the summer of 2020 after they triggered his £45 million release clause. He has had his ups and downs in an Arsenal shirt, but hearing that Mikel Arteta is ready to sell him is a surprise. Along with the three clubs from Saudi Arabia, Italian giants Juventus have reportedly joined the race to sign party this summer. Gianluca Di Marzio has shared the latest on the situation. On his day, Arsenal number 5 Thomas Party is one of the best midfielders in the world and it's no surprise that Juventus want to sign him. The Ghanaian has everything in his locker. He is good with the ball at his feet, is a brilliant passer, can score from distance, and his ability as a number 6 is up there with the very best. Even for most part of last season, Party was unbelievable for Arsenal. He was one of the biggest reasons why they stayed on top of the league table for such a long time. Darren Bent even called him the most important player at the club. However, a shock dip in form in the business end of the season played a part in Arsenal's title collapse. That's probably why Mikel Arteta is ready to let him go and Juventus are keen. The report claims that the Italian giants want to sign party this summer and the Ghanaian has apparently already given the go-ahead to a transfer to Turin. The shocking part of the story is that Di Marzio claims a deal can be done for as low as £15.5 million, with the ceiling revealed to be £17.2 million. Juventus aren't the only side keen to sign party this summer. Three clubs from Saudi Arabia want him as well and they might pay more. Mikel Arteta has filed to assure £32,000 a week Arsenal man he will apply next season. Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta has filed to convince Fuller and Balogun that he will play as many minutes as he would like next season. A reporter from Football Transfers has shared more details on the young forward's future. It looks set to be a big summer for Fuller and Balogun after a tremendous season in League One. The 21-year-old outscored every player in the Arsenal squad while at Stad Rams. His 21 goals and 3 assists helped a side that was expected to be fighting relegation finish comfortably mid-table. Right now, there is no obvious place for Balogun in the Arsenal squad. Gabriel Jesus is Mikel Arteta's first choice forward and offers much more than goals in his system. When the Brazilian was injured, Edin Ketea proved to be an able backup without really challenging Jesus for his place in the side. While Arteta continues to only play one striker, it's hard to see where Balogun's minute will come from. If Kai Havertz arrives this summer too, then he could be pushed even further down the pecking order. The reporter from Football Transfer suggests that Balogun is ready to push for a move away from the Emirates. That's because Arteta hasn't been able to give Balogun sufficient assurances about potential game time. The £32,000 a week forward is a victim of his own success and bad timing at Arsenal. Had he scored that many goals while on at Middlesbrough 12 months earlier, it could well have been Edin Ketea chipped out. Instead, Arsenal brought in Gabriel Jesus and Leandro Trossard during that time, Arsenal may see this summer as a good opportunity to cash in on Balogun while his stock is high. Balogun has plenty of suitors who would be able to offer him more minutes than Arteta at Arsenal. It seems counterproductive for the Gunners to sell one of their most prized young players. However, if they allow him to sit on the bench for a season, he will become more unhappy and if he demands to leave, would be worth a lot less. Mikel Arteta has decided Kai Havertz's position at Arsenal. Arsenal are on the verge of signing Kai Havertz this summer, and Mikel Arteta reportedly already knows the position in which he will use him in his side next season. The Gunners seem really active in this window. Declan Rice is their top target, while Ajax star Jurian Tamber is also a player they are trying to sign. Havertz, however, is said to be the first one in. 
and the athletic have shed some light on Arteta's plan for him. Kai Havertz is a hugely versatile player, and every Arsenal fan is curious about where Mikel Arteta will deploy him next season if the deal goes through. The sensational German has mostly played as a striker or an attacking midfielder at Stamford Bridge, while he has been given opportunities on the right wing too. Arsenal's system, however, is completely different compared to Chelsea's under any of their last three managers, and unsurprisingly, Havertz is said to be deployed in a new position as well. The report claims Arteta's vision is to use Havertz as a left-sided number eight and give him the freedom to link up a play in the final third and join attacks from midfield. Granny Chaka did this for Arsenal last season, and he had his best season in his Gunners career. Havertz is arguably much better suited to this role than the Swiss international, which makes this an exciting opportunity for him. Kai Havertz is set to undergo his Arsenal medical this weekend, and his signing is expected to be announced at some point next week. A lot of eyebrows were raised when rumors about the Gunners' interest first surfaced a couple of weeks ago, and there are still many doubting how and where he would fit in. It will be interesting to see how Havertz will fare next season, but if there is anyone who can get the best out of him, it's Arteta. Arsenal now in advance talks to sign 32 million euros 19-year-old. Arsenal are reportedly making significant strides in their request to sign Southampton's star Romeo Lavia. However, Manchester City's special clause may put a spanner in the works of this transfer, posing a potential obstacle for the Gunners. Arsenal are reportedly making significant progress in their negotiations to sign Southampton's standout performer, Romeo Lavia. The Gunners are eager to boost their midfield with this young talent, who has proved his mettle in the recently relegated side. Lavia, just 19, had an exceptional season with Southampton, despite their relegation, with a total of 34 appearances across all competitions. His performances haven't gone unnoticed, leading to interest from several top-flight clubs, including Manchester United and Mauricio Pochettino's Chelsea. While Chelsea and Manchester United are keeping a close eye on the situation, Arsenal appear to be in the driving seat, making significant strides in their talks with both Southampton and Lavia's representatives. However, Arsenal's move could face a hitch due to a special clause held by Manchester City. The reigning champions have a £40 million buyback clause for Lavia that becomes active next year. If Pep Guardiola decides to active this clause, Arsenal's potential move could be disrupted. Even if City decide against exercising their buyback clause, they are still entitled to a portion of the fee that Southampton will receive for La Via. Despite these potential obstacles, Arsenal continue to lead the charge in the race for La Via. Their intent is clear as they hope to seal a deal for the young midfielder, making him a key part of their plans for the upcoming season. As the transfer saga unfolds, Arsenal's advanced talks for Romeo Lavia and the potential complications posed by Manchester City's special clause will make for compelling watch for football fans. Arsenal enter race for dominant Manchester United target. The latest report suggests that Arsenal have now entered the race to try and sign highly rated player Axel Di Sassi this summer. According to RMC Sports journalist Fabrice Hawkins, Manchester United are leading the race to sign Di Sassi. Despite this, things could change quickly now that the journalist states that Arsenal and Chelsea are now interested. His current club Monaco will listen to offers that are no less than £34.5 million, according to Hawkins. The journalist also stated that no bids have been made yet. If Arsenal do want the Sassi, they may need to act quickly, as Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag is planning to talk to the player soon. It's no shock to see the Gunners interested in signing a top defender. Last season, their title challenge faltered after a big injury to William Saliba. This emphasized the need for good depth, especially in defense. The Sazi is attracting the interest of some big clubs, and this shows his quality. He is highly rated by many, with football talent scout 
JC colleague calling the player dominant and complete, this is high praise. The Monaco centre-back had a great season in his 38 League One appearances. The 25-year-old was a key asset. He was great at defending and even contributed with three goals and three assists. He definitely seems like the type of player who could grow at Arsenal under Mikel Arteta. With the Gunners having a lot of fixtures next season, there is no doubt that he would feature a lot at the Gunners. The four-capped France international would definitely be a great signing for Arsenal. Arsenal reportedly closing in on Urian Tamber. Arsenal have been doing well in the early stages of the transfer window. The Gunners have reportedly sealed the signing of Kai Havertz and remain in talks over Declan Rice. On Thursday, Fabrizio Romano claimed Arsenal are now closing in on a very exciting signing. Understand Arsenal are advancing on full agreement on personal terms with Urian Tamber, he wrote on Twitter. The player has accepted to join Arsenal. Negotiations will follow between Ajax and Arsenal in the next hours and days. New bid is expected soon. This is a great news because Tamber is a very talented and exciting player with a very high ceiling. The 22-year-old is a regular for club and country. He made 47 Ajax appearances last season and has 121 outings under his belt for his club. Meanwhile, Tamber has won 15 caps for the Netherlands and made four appearances at the last World Cup. Tamber is a centre-back by trade, but he can also play a right back this obviously comes in handy for an Arsenal side that have had issues there. As per FB Ref, Tamber is amongst the best performing centre-backs in Europe across a number of areas. Breaking the lines deemed him one of the most exciting defensive prospect in football right now. In terms of price tag, Ajax reportedly want around 50 million euros for Tamber. We'll see what happens with regards to negotiations involving Arsenal and the Dutch giants. Tamber certainly seems like he'd be worth it, considering his talent, age and potential. It's no surprise that Tamber has accepted a move to Arsenal, but whether the Gunners can sort out a fee with Ajax to seal the deal remains to be seen. It will be interesting to see where Tamber will play if Arsenal sign him this summer. Fabrizio Romano shares what he heard about Arsenal and Declan Rice now. Fabrizio Romano has shared the latest on the Declan Rice saga, as Mikel Arteta's Arsenal and Pepe Guardiola's Manchester City battle it out for his signature this summer. The West Ham United skipper is one of the best midfielders in the world, he is a fine player, and Arsenal have been desperate to sign him for a while now. However, Manchester City have now reportedly entered the race to get him. Speaking about the situation, Romano claimed in a video on his YouTube channel that the one key factor in this deal is the presence of Mikel Arteta at Arsenal. When Manchester City really want to sign a player, they usually end up getting him. The champions, who just won the treble, are among the wealthiest clubs in the world and they can easily blow rival teams out of the water by offering huge salaries. To add to that, they have arguably the greatest manager in world football at the helm, Pep Guardiola. Most players would love to work under him, wouldn't they? Arsenal know they need to put an immense effort to beat Manchester City to sign Declan Rice, and Romano has claimed that Arteta is working his socks off behind the scenes to get this done, the journalist said. One crucial point in this story, Mikel Arteta. Arteta is pushing at the best level to sign Declan Rice, Arteta is trying in every single way. Of course, it doesn't depend on him, it depends on the owners and how much they want to spend on the deal, but Mikel Arteta is trying his best. He is really pushing for Declan to join Arsenal. If Declan Rice will be an Arsenal player, trust me, Arteta will have been a crucial factor. West Ham were probably always hoping for a bidding war for Declan Rice, and it looks they are about to get it now with Manchester City in the race. It will be interesting to see where Rice will end up in the coming days, Arsenal or Manchester City. According to a tweet from reliable journalist Gianluca Di Marzio, there is confidence at the treble winners that they will reach a final agreement with the East Londoners for their captain. Hopefully, 
Declan will join Arsenal in the end. I will be uploading daily Arsenal news, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.